Sharon Pedro, good evening to you both. We've learned that the young man killed is 15-year-old Robert Plyley, a sophomore here at Alta Loma High School. His family tells us he was athletic. He played basketball and football here. He was outgoing, but most importantly, he was a devoted friend, son, and grandson. San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies are investigating a homicide at a home in Bloomington where a young man was shot and killed early Tuesday morning. According to the Chafee Joint Union High School District, it was one of their own, sophomore student Robert Plyley. In a statement, the superintendent extended his deepest condolences to family, friends, students, and teachers, and says Robert was a wonderful young man and his loss will be felt deeply by the entire community. Robert was just 15 years old. His family shared the these photos of him, his dad told us his son was energetic, athletic, and ambitious, and just got his first after-school job. Many Alta Loma parents, like Raquel Aguilar, say the news hits very close to home. I can think that maybe that would be my daughter. So just think about it. He was young, and he had a, his whole life ahead of him, and now he can't do anything. Police haven't released any more information about what led up to the shooting or who may be involved. Neighbors who live on Geronimo Avenue in Bloomington say there were between three to 400 people on this block around one or two in the morning. Grief counselors are now at school to support students and staff who are processing this news. Today in the auditorium, they're talking to all the students. If you wanted to say anything or you want to just talk about your feelings, just a day just to just be free in your mind, just to relax. In an email sent home to parents, the Alta Loma principal encouraged parents to check in with their kids. I mean, it'll just be like a really intense conversation when we get home. It's a really tight community, and so to hear of a, a student so young passing from such like a senseless crime, just, it was really hard to hear. I can't even believe it. You see it a lot in TV and other schools, and when it hits home, it's it's just scary. So, Rachel, you said that the police haven't released much information on who the suspect is, but where does the investigation stand tonight? Pedro, police tell me they are in the very early stages of this investigation. So far, no suspect or suspects have been identified, but they tell us they're going to keep us posted as more information becomes available. We're live in Rancho Cucamonga tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff, and I'll send it back to both of you.